Hey guys, Attic Cyclos here with a uh, review video of the Selly Italia SLR Boost Super Flow Kit Carbino Saddle. Uh, that's a mouthful. Um, this basically uh, came off my brand new Factor Ostro. Uh, I did purchase this saddle uh, originally to try on my System 6. I was looking for something with a larger cutout. Uh, this has one of the, the larger cutouts out of all the Selly uh, line. Uh, this is, we'll call it like their snub nose, you know, so not quite S-Works power snub, but not too far from it. So I've never really kind of got along with these types of saddles, uh, but I wanted to try it because of the cutout. So I don't really have a lot of experience on it. I had literally a short ride. I uh, did not want to damage it or have any markings on the rails. Uh, hell, I didn't even take off the actual tag that was on it because it was a $450 saddle. Uh, so didn't want to have any issues with returning it um, if I didn't like it. So uh, with this one, obviously it's mine. I own it. I will give it a try. I did put my trustworthy uh, specialized s works Roman uh, Evo on my new um, Ostro, um, you know, for the fit, you know, everything's pretty much all dialed in. This is a little bit shorter and this is 145 uh, millimeters in width. My specialized uh, s works Roman Evo was 143. Um, but what I did notice instantly when I was demoing this awesome saddle. Uh, this carbon rails actually have ceramic in it too, so it's pretty pretty fancy stuff here. But what I found was because it's so wide, you obviously have the stub nose once you sit a little further closer to the, to the tip of the saddle, the front of the saddle. But I noticed that I kind of felt my legs kind of coming up against this section here since it flares out so much. And not that it would have caused an issue, obviously it's just a new feeling, but I just felt like it was you know, gonna change or, or cause issues with the fit, maybe some chafing. Uh, so I didn't really wanna try it and move it around um, when I was quote unquote demoing it. So uh, I don't have much experience on it, but I will get some uh, miles on it now uh, that I own one. And uh, just kinda of wanted to uh, kinda of share that with you. Nothing really too specific to talk about other than it's extremely light, um, extremely well built. I mean, selly has been, making saddles since the beginning of time. I think they're one of the oldest uh, saddle makers. So I um, just want to throw it on the trustworthy scale here just so we can get it weighing. It feels very similar in uh, in my hands to my S-Works Roman Evo. Um, very, very light. So right on the scale here, look at that, 132 grams. That is extremely light. I mean, you're not going to get much lighter unless you go bare carbon shell, you know. So this has some, actually this has some pretty good padding in it. It's got some nice padding in it. What I did notice too is that the padding does kind of clump, come close to the shell here. Uh, where it does have like a slight raised section here. Uh, so not that you're going to fill that through your bibs, but you know, it does kind of rest right up against the base uh, with a carbon shell. So something to note, again, don't think it's going to be an issue. You're not going to feel that with bibs on and it's so wide. Uh, you shouldn't feel like cutting into any skin or anything like that. But uh, super cool saddle, super expensive. Uh, so again, it's very kind of hard to demo saddle. So, you know, if you buy this thing, I would commit to it. Um, and uh, yeah, please feel free to like and subscribe, ask any questions in the comments, and I'll be sure to get back. Thanks for the watch.